Hi, babe, I'm Action Jacqueline, and welcome to your Power Yoga Flow. This is going to strengthen and stretch your entire body. You don't need any equipment at all. It's going to feel amazing, so let's get started. Let's begin on our mats here in a nice seated position. Take a few moments to just connect to your body here. Close your eyes for a couple minutes. Take a few deep breaths in, connecting to your body. I love how yoga can really allow us to be present in our body. And whenever we're fully present, anxiety and tension truly cannot exist at the same time. And so in this moment, just think of one thing that you're grateful for. Maybe it's just your yoga practice, the fact that you showed up today, because I know that's the hardest part, right? It's getting here, showing up. And I just want to remind you that all of your dreams are so, you are so worthy of all of your dreams becoming a reality. And the way that our dreams become reality is simply by showing up for ourselves and being present. Take a nice big inhale in, reach the arms up overhead. Exhale, bring the hands down. We're gonna bring the hands all the way forward. And we're gonna start by pressing back into a slight child's pose. And we're gonna roll all the way forward, allow the hips to come down, the chest to lift up. Squeeze the shoulder blades together, and then reach back. So I want you to begin grounding the fingers down. Yoga has the hands on the floor a lot which I'm so grateful for because I was a dancer for my whole life and we really didn't put our hands on the ground too much. And it wasn't until I started doing yoga that I started to really connect with the floor with my hands and build the upper body strength that I didn't know was possible for my body. So I want you to think about pressing into the pads, the finger pads of your, or the pads of your fingertips, really pressing down, almost like you're trying to grip the mat. Good. And then come into all fours here, hands on any shoulders, knees on any hips. And we're gonna take a few cat cows here, inhaling in and exhaling. Push the floor away. Good. Inhale in and exhale. And now find a neutral spine, ribs are down, lower belly is squeezing in like you have a seat belt on those abs. Tuck the toes underneath you and we're just gonna float the knees above the mat here, hold. Feel the heat firing up in the body. Lift up the pelvic floor, pull up the lower belly, lower the ribs, soften the ribs, soften the shoulders. Lengthen out through the chest, lengthen out through the tailbone, and lower the knees down. Beautiful. Now we're gonna reach for, this time we're gonna add on a push-up. So add a little push-up here, and then press it back into child's pose. Five more like that, and five, and back. Good, and four. Squeeze the shoulder blades together, and three, Good, come back to that neutral spine here on all fours, tuck the toes under, and let's hold that hovering position one more time. Lift up here, lower belly squeezes in, pelvic floor up, ribs down, shoulders down, lengthen through the spine. Just a few things to think about, I know. Now I want you to walk the feet all the way back into a high plank pose. Good, now here in high plank, we're gonna hold. See if you can now pull the lower belly in even more spread wide across the shoulder blades. So instead of sinking in the shoulders, push the floor away. Lengthen out through the spine, tuck the pelvis under, lower belly squeezes in. Nice, now we're just gonna slowly walk it all the way back into that hovering position, that crouched position here, hold. Don't come out of it, you are strong, you can do this. And then walk it all the way back, slow and controlled. Push the floor away. Lower belly squeezes in. I know, this is where you build the strength. This is where the change happens. Keep pushing the floor away. Use your whole body 
Think about using your toes, your thighs, your inner thighs, right? Everything works together. Now let's walk back into that little crouch position. One last time right here. Hold for five, four, three, two, one, and release. Okay, were you shaking? Because I was. I love yoga for the slow controlled movements. Just roll out those wrists. Just know that your wrists and your forearms do get stronger every time you come back to this class. So let's place the hands on the ground. Remember to spread the fingers wide, press into the finger pads, tuck the toes under, and let's press back into our first downward facing dog. For our first one, let's just pedal out our feet. Shoulders externally rotate. Try to lengthen out through the sides of the waist. And let's hold here for a few breaths. Good. Now bring the feet close together. So toes are touching, big toes are touching. And without shifting anything in the upper body, just simply float the right leg up towards the sky. Bend the knee, open up the hip. Now I'm challenging you to do this without twisting the shoulders open. Keep the shoulders square to the floor as the hips twist open. Good. And let's go to the other side. Really focusing on the shoulder staying square as the hips underneath you twist and turn. And lower down. Let's pick the right leg up. This time, don't twist the hips. Keep everything square. Shoulders square, hips square. Pull the knee in towards your chest. And we're going to hold here. Push the floor away even more. Pull the knee up towards the chest even more. Hold for five, four, three, two, one. Step the foot in between the hands. Lower the back knee down. Rise up into a low lunge. Bring the hands to the front. Step it all the way to the top of the mat into a forward fold. Release the head. Feels so good, right? Inhale in, reach the crown of the head forward. Try to get the weight into the toes. Notice how I scooch my hands forward. I'm not back here on my heels and forward on my toes. And then we're gonna root to rise all the way up to standing. Inhale, exhale, bring hands to heart center. Nice, sweep the arms again. Inhale and exhale, forward fold. Again, step the left foot back into this low lunge position and hold. Feel the front of the body stretching and releasing with every breath. And you notice as the deeper you breathe, the more open and relaxed your body gets. Tuck the back toe underneath you. You can place your hand on your knee for a little extra support. And you're gonna rise up into a crescent pose. Reach the arms up overhead. Nice big inhale in, exhale, bring the hands to the floor. Step back, high plank pose, let's hold here. Now we're gonna hold here and we're gonna just shift forward and back onto our heels and then over onto our toes. Okay, so push the floor away as you do this. Nice, we're gonna do this five times. Five, four, we're gonna land over our fingertips. Three, two, and one, now shoulders are over the fingertips. Look at how far forward I'm leaning. Now from here, I take my chaturanga, my elbows squeeze in so slow, so, so, so slow, and then press up into an upward facing dog. Thighs are off of the floor, squeeze the shoulder blades together, lift the heart up towards the sky, and press back to downward dog. Beautiful work. And let's hold here for a few breaths ribs, knit together, sides of the waist, elongate, fingertips press into the floor. Now bring the big toes together, lift the left leg up towards the sky without twisting into the hips. Step the foot in between, oh no, bring the knees into the chest. We're gonna hold here before we do that. Hold and lift. 
Bring the knee up closer towards your chest. Even more for five. Lift higher, four, three, two, one. Now step it between the hands, lower the back knee down. Good, inhale in. And exhale, step forward to the top of the mat. Inhale, reach the crown of the head forward. Exhale, release down. Inhale, rise up to the top of the mat. Exhale, bring hands to heart center. Just remind yourself of that one thing that you're grateful for today. Spring it back into your mind and body. And let's keep going. Inhale in, lift up. Exhale, forward fold all the way. Step the right foot back again. And let's hold in our low lunge. Feel the body releasing with each and every breath. Lift the sternum up towards the sky, just reminding yourself to stay tall and proud. All right, if you need to place the hands on the knees, you can do that as we lift and rise up into our crescent pose. Inhale and hold here for just a moment or two. Good, and then fold all the way down, hands to floor. Let's take our five forward and back in plank pose. Lift up nice and high onto those toes. Push forward so that you're on the finger pads of your fingers and then back. Four more, four, knit the ribs together. Three, squeeze the inner thighs together. Two and one, stay forward on those toes over the fingertips, slowly lower chaturanga to upward facing dog to downward facing dog. Nice. Now we're gonna do that one more time, but just a little bit quicker. Inhale in, exhale, step between the hands. Low lunge, inhale, exhale, step all the way forward. Inhale, crown of the head lifts, exhale, lower. Inhale, rise. Exhale, fold right from here, all the way down. Step it back, low lunge. Inhale in. Exhale, rise up to crescent pose. Inhale and exhale right away. Take your vinyasa right here. Nice, left side, inhale in. Exhale, step it in between the hands. Lower the back knee down. Inhale, exhale, hands down. Step it forward, inhale. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, root to rise. Exhale, four fold. Feels so good, right? Good, slide the right foot back. Inhale in, exhale, place the hands down. Rise up to crescent, inhale. And exhale, hands down, chaturanga. Beautiful work. Hold here for a few breaths, or if you need a child's pose, then take it right here. Bring the big toes together. Inhale, lift the right leg up. Exhale, we're gonna step it in between the hands. This time, spiral back onto the back heel and rise into warrior one and hold here. Thinking about squaring off the hips, drawing that right front thigh bone back into the hip socket. See if you can straighten out this back leg even more and pull up the arches of the back foot. Inhale, reach the arms up overhead. Exhale, we're gonna open up into warrior two. Feel the hips open and release.
and you're still trying to lift up through the arch of that back foot. It's usually the biggest mistake I see is this collapsing here. So keep pushing onto the knife edge of the left foot. Lower belly squeezes in. We're gonna reverse the warrior, inhale in. Exhale, come into a side angle pose. Hold here. Now you can stay here if you wanna add on a little bit more. You can bring the bottom arm to meet the top. Really challenging here for the hamstrings and the core. Just a few breaths here. One more breath, lift on up. Whew. And then we're going to reach forward, so keep the legs straight as we reach forward into our triangle pose here. So you could always place a block underneath your hand if you need some support. I would place it right here like this. And if it's too much to look up, you can just look down like that. Nice, now look forward towards your big toe. We're gonna put a little bend in the front knee and we're going to just scooch ourselves forward. Our hand comes about a foot in front of our our hand, a little foot in front of our foot. <laughs> so we come into our half moon pose. Nice, expand through the chest. I know that bottom foot is struggling to find balance. So let it find the balance. Nice, so hold here. And if you'd like to take the foot in for an extra stretch along the thigh and hip, you can go for that here. You also get a nice stretch across the chest and shoulder. Feels really, really good. Nice and release that there. And then as slowly as you possibly can, reach back all the way into your warrior two again. Whew. Feel those legs burning and working. Inhale in, exhale. Now let's windmill the arms all the way down to the floor. Good, and we're gonna hold here in this high lunge. So keep the left hand down and then twist with the right arm up towards the sky. Hold here. Remembering to ground and root through the fingertips and the finger pads to help lift your chest up higher, reach the fingertips higher up towards the sky. Now I'm just gonna turn onto the knife edge of my left foot and then I'm gonna stay on my right foot in the front and hold here. It's a nice hip opener. Still working the sides of the waist Push the floor away, lift the chest up towards the sky, and hold. Keep pushing away. Feel like someone has your top hand and they're lifting you up. Now slide that foot, if you're ready, all the way to a side plank. Vashisthasana right here. Separate the heels to square off the hips. Nice, and then place the hand down, high plank pose, and then take your vinyasa. Beautiful work, my stretchy yogi babes. Few breaths right here. We're gonna lift up high onto the toes, bend the knees, stay solid in those hands. Look forward 
and then hop, step, Joe, jump to the top of the mat. Inhale, reach the crown of the head forward, bend the knees, and we're gonna swoop the arms into a chair pose. Feel those legs working and burning. We're just gonna do a few pulses right here, and pulse, pulse, pulse. Lower belly squeezes in, top ribs knit together. Nice. I always love this one because it gets into the legs so good. Good, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. A root to rise all the way up to the top. Inhale in, exhale, hands to heart center. Take a forward fold all the way down. Nice, and then you can walk, step, hop, or jump to your chaturanga. Lift the left leg up, inhale in. Exhale, step it in between the hands. This time, let's come into our warrior one on the left side. Just take a quick scan from your feet all the way to your head. So thinking of the toes rooting down the inner arch is lifting, the front of the quad stretching and engaging all at the same time. Front belly pulls in, ribs down. You've got this. So always remembering to be your best cheerleader. Inhale in, and then we're gonna open up into a warrior two. So this isn't as, to get as low as you possibly can. This is really about how good you can make your form. So don't be afraid to pull the feet in a little bit if you need to. Continue to lift up the inner arches and hold like the strong warrior that you are. I even like to give my inner thighs a little squeeze because that helps me to be able to drop my tailbone down and give space in the sacrum. Let's take an inhale in, reverse the warrior, stay, keep the front knee bent. And then exhale, reach over into side angle pose. Stay steady and strong. Make sure to rotate the top arm, so pinky down, thumb up, to externally rotate the shoulder. Ribs knit in, and if you wanna take that extra challenge, reach that bottom arm up. Really nice. Give that extra little squeeze on the inner thighs. Feel the line from the fingertip to the heel stretching one long beautiful line here one more inhale reverse now straight in the front leg and then exhale uh, let's release it wash it away in our triangle pose Whew. So you can adjust the stance there in the triangle pose if you need to. Maybe you need to make it a little bit of a shorter stance there. I feel like the top arm is pressing a wall. It presses a wall so that it helps you to twist open. Beautiful. And then look forward and bring the hand about a foot in front of your foot and lift up into your half moon pose here. A beautiful pose to work on your balance, to strengthen your feet and ankles. We're always stuck in our big clunky shoes, so it's so good that you're working out barefoot right now. Should help your whole body strength. 
Now, if you wanna take this stretch on this side, go ahead and grab your foot. Feel that nice stretch in the shoulders, hips and quads. And with each and every breath, you feel your body release the tension and getting stronger. And slowly release. And as slow as you can, reach back into your warrior two. Reverse the warrior, inhale. Exhale, windmill the hands to the mat and stay here in your high plank pose. Good. Now stay here. Find your positioning, square off the hips. And then when you're ready, go ahead and twist open towards the knee. So remember to root into those finger pads. Don't let it all just dump into the wrist. Really press through the fingertips. Push the floor away, pull the lower belly in, reach up towards the sky. The sun is starting to come out. It's looking so beautiful here, isn't it? All right, now we're gonna take ourselves, we're gonna just turn over to the knife edge of that bottom foot and notice how I'm still pressing down into this front foot. Now everything lifts, everything lifts. Even that ankle, notice how my ankle is lifting, right? I'm not pushing down into the ankle, I'm pushing into the edge, lifting my ankle, lifting my hips, lifting my shoulders. Like someone has my hand and they're pulling me up, but you're doing it yourself. Lift up, lift up. It's a nice hip opener here as well. Good, and then stack the feet up when you're ready. Hold, open up the heels. This is a nice little trick I like to do to help square off the hips so that you're not too open. Nice big inhale in and then carefully with control, bring the hand to the floor and take your vinyasa. Lift up high onto the toes, bend the knees, look forward, walk, step, hop, or jump to the top of the mat, and then take your chair pose right here. Beautiful. Chair pose always offers challenge and fire. Little pulses right here at 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, now slowly take that booty all the way down to the floor, and we're gonna land right here in our boat pose. Beautiful, now we're just gonna do a little open and lift, as tiny as you can make it. Stay in control, squeeze the knees together. And just really think about cinching the waist down, pulling the lower abs in towards the spine. Good. Seven more, really nice. Nice, lay all the way down now. And you're gonna flex the feet, bring the hands, keep them up towards the sky. And we're gonna lower one leg down at a time, really slow, slow and controlled. Slower than you probably would like to. So I want you to focus on cinching the waist down. You may need to even put your hands here on your waist to feel the abs, what are they doing? I want you to press them down so that you're not just using the rectus abdominis, but you're using the lowest transverse abdominis. So when you go slow like this, you can access it better. Nice and slow. And then we're just gonna switch in the air, just like that. You might even start to feel these neck postural muscles work. That's good. Good, so slow, so, so controlled. For eight, you can place the hands behind the head if the neck starts to hurt too much. Seven. Six, keep really pressing down. Five. Four. 
three, two, and one. Nice job, pull the knees in towards your chest. Take a nice deep breath in. And just right now, remember that one thing that you are grateful for, bring it back into your mind and body. And then we're gonna roll all the way forward. See if you can jump it back into your chaturanga. Here we go. Roll all the way up. Nice, upward dog and downward dog. We're gonna lift the right leg up. We're gonna step it all the way forward. Low lunge, one more time. Inhale in, exhale to the top of the mat. Reach to the crown of the head and forward fold. Good, reach to the crown of the head. This time we're gonna step the right leg back. One more low lunge, inhale in and exhale, hands. High plank, take your vinyasa. Last one right here. Nice, and let's take the right foot up and let's start to cool it down with our pigeon stretch right here. So I'm gonna take my foot forward, but if that's not comfortable for you, then definitely don't do that. You can just keep it a little bit closer in towards you. We're gonna take a nice, easy pigeon stretch, even though pigeon is not easy. <laughs> but it is so, so beneficial for our hips. And if this is too much for you, then I would recommend going onto your back and just take a figure four stretch like this. Okay, so this would be a great modification for the pigeon pose. Keep holding if you're in pigeon for about another 30 seconds. Ah, this feels so, so good. I've been running here in the sand a lot and I can tell I have a lot more <laughs> tight and tense than I usually am. So this pose right here just feels so good. Nice, and let's switch it around to the other side. And remember, you can do it on your back on the figure four if you're doing that. Just allow the tension to leave your body. So many times we're holding on for no reason at all. Or maybe we're holding on because we're just used to being tight and tense. So maybe the feeling of being open, of being free is new to you. So just allow yourself to invite these new feelings of openness, calmness, freedom into your body. Good, let's come all the way up. And let's lay onto our backs. Let's take a nice spinal twist here before we move into our final pose, our Shavasana. So we will be doing a nice Shavasana and I'll lead you through just a brief meditation to close everything out together. Cause you deserve it. Nice, yummy relaxation portion of the class. All right, pull the knee in and let's go to the other side. Oh, I love this one too. This one just never gets old, you know? Every single time I do it, I'm like, oh wow. I love this one. <laughs> really opens up the low back, the shoulders, the pecs. All right, and then do anything else that you need to and then settle in for a Shavasana. I'm just gonna grab this so I can keep time so just allow the shoulders to squeeze together the palms face up towards the sky and just let the feet fall open and just allow yourself to be in the most comfortable place with your eyes closed just imagine yourself laying somewhere the most comfiest most wonderful beautiful place you could imagine for me, it's right here on the beach, under the sun, next to the waves. And breathe in and out through your nose, releasing tension from your toes, ankles, knees, hips, thighs, solar plexus, chest, 
shoulders over front and back and top, arms, fingers, releasing, letting go. Letting the breath get deeper and with each and every breath, you're getting more and more relaxed. Releasing the tension in your eyes, your jaw, the crown of the head, just letting it go. feeling so comfortable and you're realizing that the more comfortable you feel in your body, the more confident you feel. And that confidence is simply comfort in any situation. And knowing that whatever comes your way, you're fully capable of handling it with comfort and ease and confidence. And you begin to allow this feeling of positivity to run through every cell of your body. And as you feel more positive, more positive things comes your way because that's just how life works. The law of the universe, the more positive you feel, the more positive things you attract in your life. knowing that wherever it is that you want to go, you're getting there one day at a time. You're realizing that you're just simply, just need to allow yourself to go there. And you have every tool, every resource because you have your mind, you have your creativity, you have your imagination. And if you can imagine it in your mind and you can hold it in your head, then you can hold it in your hands. And let's seal all that in with a nice big deep breath in. Reach the arms up overhead, inhale in. Exhale, you can either roll over to your side or slowly make your way up. And just gently begin to open up your eyes. One, two, three, four, five. Wide awake. Now, open up your eyes. One, two, three, four, five. Eyes open, wide awake. Bring your hands towards your heart center and just bowing towards your beautiful body acknowledging that you showed up for you and that making your dreams a reality is just simply showing up for yourself every day. Namaste. Beautiful work, my stretchy yogi babes. I hope you loved this yoga practice that we got to do together. It just warms my heart to see your comments, to see your check-in. So make sure you check in with me on Instagram, tagging Action Jacqueline and Stretchy Fit app. All right, make sure that you like the video, smash that subscribe button because that really helps me to support my channel. Comment down below and make sure that you check out all the other videos I have here on my channel. I've got amazing meditations as well if you liked this one, plus tons of more yoga, bar pilates, all the good stuff. All right, love you so, so much and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.